Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I'm going to be doing a project share. Um, I will be having a project share and a tutorial slash process video of me creating a pocket with the journal pocket die. Let me show you guys this one right here. And I did do a little parasol pocket. So if you guys would like to check that out, I will have it linked down below. Um, this will be out the same day as this share, um, just so that we can get these videos out. But I wanted to share with you guys the last of my projects um, from the May release from Scrap Diva Designs. So I can start sharing with you guys my June projects. So I'm just grabbing one last die here that I forgot to share with you guys. So let me go ahead and start off with that one. So right here I have this diamond mini album die. So it comes with this diamond shape right here, this outline. And it comes with this stitched layering piece, the piece that has the little flap to create the album. And then it also has this intricate diamond piece as well with the florals on the sides. So of course for me, I don't really make a bunch of mini albums. So I like to do different things with her mini album dies because they're very versatile. So um, what I did with this was I made a card and a matching envelope. This would be perfect for a engagement or a wedding card. So I did put the diamond on the front and I was thinking of doing initials for anyone getting married. That's my plan for that. So I did die cut that diamond that was here on the back um, out of just some peach colored paper. And then I did make this with my all-in-one tool. And on the inside is my card and I did get a little crazy and I think this took me about two and a half hours to do but I diamond dot the whole card front and what I did was I die cut this piece right here out of vellum so that way when I diamond dot it it wouldn't show like the colored paper um, you know through any of the gaps so right here you can see there isn't really much color showing through except for the diamond dots and I did use mainly iridescent colored diamond dots so you guys can see there's just that little bit of iridescence on there some parts I did use just regular colored um, diamond dots so like this peach color is um, you know not iridescent but this one is and I just did it on some of the pieces and then the centers of these are as well as this and on the inside I made it into a card so on the inside, I just have this layering piece of pink cardstock so that way I can write a message on the inside. And that finishes up the card. And it just fits perfectly inside of this envelope. And I made it just a little bit bigger so that way, you know, it's not too snug with the diamond dots. And that's what that, um, how that turned out. And then um, I didn't do a process video on this because there is a lot already out there. and. Um, I wanted to get a video, but I know that I just, I wasn't gonna be able to. <laughs> so I'm doing a project share. So this is what it looks like, and I don't wanna get my reflection all up in there, but this is the die. It is pretty large, so I did use about one eight and a half by 11, I believe, um, like a magnet. And then I did keep the rest on its original packaging, and I just stuck it on the back of the magnet. And it has a bunch of pieces. Um, this is for the handle. All of these are mainly for the handle or something on the outside of the umbrella. And this right here is the main pieces, the layering pieces and the main piece to create the umbrella. This is a layering piece for the handle and this is for the pull part of the umbrella. So sorry for all that glare, but this is how mine turned out. I'm not completely finished. But I didn't use, she does have or include, let me get that out the way, um, a couple of little ruffles. So right here is one of them. Um, it has this doily edge. And then there's another one. Oh, where'd it go? I hope it's behind there. I hope I didn't lose it. I don't see why I would have. I didn't use it. I'm going to have to look for it. <laughs> But it has an, a heart edge, and I will, um, do have the unboxing or unpackaging of my design team package. So um, you guys probably have seen it there if you did see that video. But I didn't use either one. I just actually did you or actually used pom pom trim just to give the umbrella a little bit more texture. And I just thought it would look so cute with this salmon colored pom pom trim. And this is what the inside looks like. I did use the parasol collection 
and the outside I use this floral paper and this is what the bottom looks like I um, actually didn't use the top part that has the circles right here because this acts as like a little hanging element but I didn't do that um, because I wanted it to hang or just sit flat so um, I did do mine to where it is at a little angle so that way when I want to put it on my desk or something I can throw in pieces and it holds it so this is what it looks like with the butterflies I'm not entirely done I do want to do some more things to this but for now I'm just gonna share with you guys since I am a little behind on how it turned out all right guys I don't know if my camera is like focused or anything but it looks pretty focused to me so there's that and then this is the embellishing on the pole part I did do some chipboard pieces I did get some of the puffy stickers and lay them around here I um, also added the butterflies to keep it you know consistent um, and then I did diamond dot and stickle some of the pieces on here and use some of the puffy stickers as well so that's how that turned out and the back I I mean it's not too messy all of it is white there's no raw chipboard showing um, because I left the adhesive available but or not available but <laughs> I left it on there um, and all I did was I just added some butterflies you know to the back um, just so that way again the butterflies are consistent throughout the whole project and that's how my umbrella turned out I love love this die um, it definitely would make a perfect gift you can you know add some things in here you can do like light things as in makeup or you know perfume bottles maybe like travel size so you can do a lot of things do candy so I did make one of those umbrellas and you guys one of my favorite things I already knew what I was going to do when I saw this golf cart and I knew I was going to do something that wasn't golf golf isn't like the biggest thing on my list so I decided to do little like cupcake candy flower carts and I did use other dies for my stash, um, which I will have down below because I know I'll probably have questions on, you know, the things that I use to create some of these. So um, I did make, you know, really cute golf carts um, or I guess like little candy slash cupcake flower carts. So this is what they turned or how they turned out. And you guys can see it has the little trim. Well, it's like a paper trim, but it's supposed to be like the little, um, you know, garland to hang. Um, and then I also added the word candy onto this one. And I did make the little, I don't know, what is this called? <laughs> um, but yeah, I did do that like kind of like on the ice cream trucks and stuff. So I did do that to the top. I added the little garland piece. This one is a heart because I do have a circle one as well. And then um, I did also add some of the little candies in here just so that way it looks like a candy cart. So with the candies, I actually used little circles. I think I used some of the circles that came out from the wheels, if I'm not mistaken. I also used some from my stash. So um, I did do that and I added a little basket to hold all of the goodies inside. And for the little golf cart light, I did add a little flower to act as the light. And to add more stability, I did do a little shadow feature. So I die cut it out of 110 pound cardstock and I backed it up onto the pink cardstock, as you guys can see, to act like a little shadow. Um, and it just adds that extra stability to the embellishment. So that's one candy cart. And then I did two cupcake carts. So this is what the cupcake one looks like. And again, this one has the heart. Um, garland I did add some glitter using some of my let me just share with you guys I think it's this one crystal clear yeah spectrum noir sparkle crystal clear um, glitter ink and I just use a paintbrush and I just brush on the edges of the hearts just to give it that like light um, effect and then I did do the cupcakes and I did use my um, sorry <laughs> I did use my diamond dust which I use in almost a lot of my videos all of my videos um just to give it that iced look and then all of my carts have diamond dot wheels with the rhinestones in the middle my rhinestones fit perfectly in there 
So I thought that was really cute. And this one I did use pink in the middle. But look at how adorable they turned out. And then again, I did the flower and a wagon. Or I mean a little basket for the cupcakes. And I did make little cupcakes. So this one has cupcakes. And then for this one, I did like little meringue type of treats. So that's what that looks like. And here's another cupcake one. And I, my son was playing with where like I had a little container with all my die cuts. And he... Um, was got to it and I knocked over and I lost one cupcake. So I added two extra little candy lollipops that I had um, on the edges to make it look a little more full. And as you guys can see here, I did have the circle garland piece here. That's actually a Christmas die. And I did cupcakes on the top of this one, which is an actual die that cuts out the word cupcake so again I'll have all that linked down below um, if I can I will do a video on this one but I'm just doing a share for now and this one right here again I used a flower and some more diamond dots and rhinestones for that one and this is a flower one I didn't have like a flower label or something to put on top so I just die cut it out of some alphas that I had in my stash and I used the same glitter paper to keep it cohesive and I just put the word flowers. Um, I did the circle garland so that way I would have like two and two. Um, and this one I did do the basket and I did little flowers from Hobby Lobby that I always use and I just thought that turned out so cute. For this one, because I had the flowers here already, I didn't want to do another one here. I just thought it would look weird. So I just did a little tiny heart rhinestone sticker as the little light. And that's how that turned out and again pink rhinestone with the diamond dots that match the wheels um and i did do the layering again with the shadow effect um and what else did i do with this one anything different no so that was it i did do again the flowers with a alpha dye i was just glad that they fit the word flowers on there um sometimes i forget to measure it so to check to see if it'll work out but that um finishes up my project share for today um, really short project share, but these were the last dies um, from my May design team package that I received. So I wanted to share with you guys that so I could start with my June stuff. I will have one more video of me creating something with another one of those dies. But I already did a tutorial slash, slash like, did I do a project share? No, because that video came out today. So it was the pocket die. That um, was one of my last ones too. So I do, or I will have that video out as well um, as this one, the same day, same night, because they will be out late. But I hope that this video inspired you guys to grab these dies. Again, this is the umbrella die, and this is the golf cart die. And I will have any other dies that I used with this down below, um, because I did use quite a bit of dies for my stash to make it work. So as you guys can see, I had to pull from my stash to kind of make um, all of these pieces and put them all together. So I'll make sure to have them linked down below for you guys um, with the names and everything. But there it is. I hope you guys got inspired and I hope you guys grabbed the dies. This golf cart is really cute, so I do recommend it. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that y'all are watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.